Good morning. Today I'm going to share with you some bougie items. Bougie is kind of a new word for, to me it's kind of like luxury, things that are kind of extra, extra, extra. I'm going to announce the five $100 winners of my giveaway. And like always, there's always going to be a little bit of chit chat. But first of all, I hope you all had a lovely and blessed Thanksgiving. I'm filming this before Thanksgiving. About seven years ago, I started only buying cruelty-free makeup. And at the very beginning, when I first started buying just cruelty-free makeup, there weren't very many brands that I kind of considered department store or more on the luxury side. I did find one that I liked a lot, and it was by Terry, and I'll type that in up here. And I loved all the things that I tried from her brand, but I found out it wasn't cruelty-free. And all the things that I am going to mention are things that, that I truly enjoy using. And before I get started, I'm going to share with you, I have a ring light. I bought one a couple of years ago for like 70 some dollars and I never used it. So I put it up today. I'm going to see what this video looks like. Today it's dark outside. I mean, there's no sun. And I know that last video I had, I had lamps. And anyway, I just thought I'd try the first thing that I thought of when I thought about things I truly love using is Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And I'll show it to you. It doesn't look like it's real special. Here are the shades in the palette. And what this is, it's a finishing powder. Now today I just have a little powder on and some blush. And I don't know if you'll be able to see a difference or not. But like when I'm wanting to go someplace and look better than I do, I, I use this and I've owned this for probably six years and it's still going strong. But what I do, I take a big fluffy brush and I just brush back and forth and I just go around my face. And it usually, I don't know what it's gonna do here, but it usually just gives me a real soft finish. And I just like it a lot and I enjoy using it. You can buy these in singles but I've never needed to. I've just kept using this and I probably will use it for a very, very long time. You know, I realize that all there's all sorts of blushes in so many different categories, expensive, inexpensive, and they all bring color to your cheek. It kind of reminds me of my vehicle situation. I have a 2017 Chrysler that I absolutely love. I get in it, I love driving it, it gets me everywhere I want it to go, wherever I want to go. I met Jim in 2006, just shortly after I had purchased a new minivan, and I love my minivan. We still have the minivan. We have a three, three vehicles. Jim has his, and then we have, we both drive the van, and I love it, and it gets me everywhere I need to go. But it's a lot less expensive vehicle, but it still works. So that's kind of what I'm talking about with all, the, with all these things I'm gonna talk about today. The next item is by Hourglass, and it is Mood Exposure Blush. And that's the color, and that's what I'm wearing today. My very, very, very favorite blush of all times. I have had this for several years, and I believe Natalie the Beauty Diva is the one that used this that I thought, oh my gosh, I need to try that. This is a full size. I would never, I will never ever buy another, well, I hate to say I'll never ever. I probably won't buy full size again because I also have the small size, and this is in Diffused Heat, and it's another blush. Absolutely love it. I, Of course, everything I mention, I love, so I, I better quit saying that. But it has different striations of color in there. I think you, you'll be able to see that. And it's just a real good size. I did not mean for this to happen, but we have a pattern going on here. All the makeup products I'm talking about are from Hourglass, and I did not know that when I sat down. I went to my vanity and I thought, what do I really enjoy using? And I picked out these things and they all are from Hourglass. The Hourglass Unreal Lip Gloss is something that my oldest sister told me about. And because of her, I bought one. I liked it so much, I bought two. And I have repurchased this one. And of course, you know, I always wait for a sale, but they're expensive. I think they cost $32 if you don't get them on sale. But I like several things about them. Number one, I don't have, I don't, I seldom, if ever, use lip pencil. I should, but I don't. But I want to know the products that I buy. And when I talk to you about them, 
I'm gonna tell you if they creep up in the creases above our lips and these don't, so you don't have to have a lip liner. It's a nice shaped applicator and it just goes on smooth and I love it and I, lo and I love both colors. Now the next item I think is crazy expensive, but the case you can get refills and this is by Hourglass and it is a beautiful, beautiful lipstick in a refillable case. This shade is If Only and this shade is My Icon Is. That is probably my favorite shade of red, but they're both beautiful. But what I really like about them is you can put them on, you can blot them and put another little coat over it and it will stay for hours and hours and hours. And it's just beautiful. And I love getting it out to do a touch up. Sometimes I think I wish I'd need to touch up more often because it's just fun using it. This is a compact that's probably 30 years old. One of my sisters got it for me. I always love to take it out and put my lipstick on using it. And it just makes me feel special. Even if I'm by myself, I enjoy doing that. I think the refills are $24. I have a refill of If Only and one of the My Icon Is because that is my favorite. I don't have any idea if they sell these anymore. They may or may not, but I just enjoy using them. I was about 20 years old when I realized that I, the brushes that came with the blush, with the eyeshadow, I needed something more than that. The little sponge applicators did a good job at doing a lot of things. And I still, I bought some sponge applicators not too long ago, and I am gonna wear eyeshadow again. I just don't know when. But I bought just a set at the drugstore. And then when I saw Mary Kay's set brush set, I bought that and I used that for years and years and years. So and the next thing I love using are brushes and especially BK Beauty brushes. They have become my very top number one brushes that I own. In fact, I've given away so many brushes. It Cosmetics, I used to love their brushes. There's one double-ended I still use now, but the rest of them, I, they've gone to new homes because I like Lisa's brushes that much better. I've had a lot less expensive brushes that I still think are good. They do their job. And then I've had some that were a whole lot more expensive. I'm not, I don't really like the real hair, hair brushes because you have to take special care of them. The only thing you have to do with the BK Beauty brushes is when you wash it, you just want to make sure you don't get it up in the ferrule and you wash it. I put mine flat to dry. I know you're supposed to hang them upside down, but I've never had a problem. But I don't use that many brushes. I don't. Now I own, I bought these. She, they sent me two boxes and they're not gonna be given away now, but I'm gonna be giving them away in a future video. But I love this brush. I have three different sizes of it now. And this is the smaller version of the 101. And even though I haven't been wearing liquid foundation, when I use powder foundation, like I put some I just put some powder on today. I love this brush. Uh, the bigger one is the one I'm talking about. I love how soft they are. I love how easily they clean up. They just have become my favorite. There's a sale that's going on that's 20% off site-wide, and I think it's over tomorrow. It's through Cyber Monday. I got mine on sale. <laughs> but 20% off, and it's also 20% off a bundle. If, if you decide to buy a bundle, it's 20% off that, and I'll put a link below. But these are four of the new face brushes, and I'll just have you look at them online. I won't go into detail, but they're all for specific things. And then she added four more brushes to her eyeshadow collection, and two of them are smaller versions of larger brushes. There's no duplicates but I'm just really proud of her. I'm proud of her her business. I love her ethics. I love that she donates money to the kindness campaigns and that she has a happiness guarantee. And plus, I liked her long before she started making BK Beauty. I just think of the world ever. And there's not very many people out there that wanna send a 69-year-old woman some of their items, but she's one of the people that I, I accept products from. But I love using her brushes. So I do appreciate a good brush. I think it was last year when they had the Nord, not this year, but last year when they had the Nordstrom sale, I bought a set of the Nest Candles and I've used two of them and I truly love the scent. My very favorite is bamboo. I don't like a lot of scent in my home. I Something I, I like is to light it for a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and then 
extinguish the flame. And I just want a real soft, subtle smell in the house. Last year, I bought two of the big nest candles, and I was going to give them as gifts. But I liked them so much, I got them something else. And here's the size of them. And this is the bamboo. Oh, my gosh. The Are you sitting down? The retail price is $48. And I bought it from Ulta when they had 10 times points. So, really, basically, I paid about half price. So, $24 is still a lot for a candle, but it's worth it to me. When I get them, I burn them all the way across like you're supposed to, and then I'll just burn it for like 30 minutes and extinguish it. If it ever gets to where I can't use it as a candle, I can take some of the wax out and use it in a warmer just for a little while, but it's something I probably will always want to have. Now I want to talk about bath stuff, and you may be surprised. I like all kinds of bath, bath things. I love bath products, but taking a bath is just so relaxing. I've always loved a good bath, and I take a bath in an antique cloth foot bathtub that seven generations of my family have bathed in. So it's just fabulous. The hospital purchased my mother and father's home and I got to get in get in there and get woodwork and get the fireplace and the bathtub and all that. So I'm just really happy to have it. So it's just a special experience. Well, years ago, L'Occitane sent me a, some of their um, almond shower oil, bath oil. They sent me my first one. I loved it so much that I got a second one as a gift. And this year, I found it on sale somewhere. I don't remember. I thought, well, I'm going to go ahead and get my backup. And here's my backup. There is just something about this scent in the, in the bathroom and how it smells on your body when you're done and you don't need much. Like, this is the third one I've had probably in seven years. So, um, yeah, it's, it's one of my special things. And I can't not mention another one. The first one I received was a gift. This is a So De Janeiro. It's supposed to be the Boom Boom Cream. It's a, their moisturizing shower cream gel. The first one was a gift. The second one I purchased, and I've just purchased a backup, and it's just packaged a little differently. I love the smell. It's very unique. The one in the orange I love. The one with the blue by Sol de Janeiro. I couldn't get it out of my house quick enough. My daughter liked it. And the pink one, I've smelled it and I have a sample and I like it, but I like the original the best. I think I've had this for about a year and a half. It is the T3 Professional Curling Iron and I have mine in an inch and a half. It's crazy expensive. I think it's probably around $160 or $70, I'm not really sure. I bought it on sale at Ulta and I used some of my points, but I'll tell you what I like about it. Number one, my hairstylist told me it was a really good one and that I needed to use the lowest setting I could on my hair to keep it strong. And this goes from like 260 to 410 and I just have to turn it down here and it'll go on how many lights I want it to. There's five and I just use it on the second one. And what I like about it, there's a lot of things I like about it. I don't like it because I did burn myself with it. I forgot I hadn't had a curling iron in forever. But when I use this color well on my hair, I'm supposed to use a curling iron to, after I blow my hair dry. But what's nice about this is I can use it like this if I want to. Just go around like this or however they do it. It's not hot now, but you can use it a lot of different ways. And it has the you know, the cord that goes around and around. And I don't think I'll have to buy another, I don't think I'll have to buy another curling iron. And I'm real happy I bought it. Be sure and watch for scammers. I'm getting ready to announce the five winners from my last giveaway. There are five people that are gonna receive $100 or $100 deposit to their PayPal account. And, and I furnish the money. Nobody's, you know, nobody's ever sponsored anything unless I told you. Like when, when I do a giveaway with the BK Beauty brushes, I will let you know that BK Beauty is providing them. I'm gonna announce the winners. And then after that, I'm gonna have a little chit chat and, and we'll just go from there. This is the first time this has happened in a while that my first winner is Age is Just a Number by Barbara Jean and she has her own channel. 
So it's the first time in quite some time that somebody that has a channel has won my giveaway. I am going to link her channel below because I know you will enjoy it. She does so many different styling videos. She's a professional stylist and I just really enjoy her channel. Congratulations, Barbara Jean. The second winner is Cheryl Priester. Congratulations, Cheryl. Next winner is Cindy Price. Congratulations, Cindy. The next winner is Nancy Davis. Congratulations, Nancy. And my last winner is Peridot 500. Congratulations to you, Peridot. So congratulations to all five of you and make sure you leave a comment below so I can tell you how I want you to get in touch with me. That is the only way I'll ever do giveaways. I'll announce them on my video and then I will have you leave a comment and then I will reply to you and tell you how to get in touch with me. I hope it comes in handy for you. Well, everything's going fine here. Jim is doing so well. We have in-house physical therapy and He's just moving along great. His next appointment with a doctor is on December the 9th, and that happens to be his birthday. So I think he'll get basically released, and then he'll be able to drive. That's what our plan is anyway, and he's looking forward to that so much. I appreciate the prayers that you all have sent, the good vibes. He could not be doing better, so I really, really feel blessed. I have a couple of household items that are, I think, bougie or kind of luxury, but, but I love them and I would purchase them again, but I'll do that in, the, in an upcoming video. I can't wait to see how this video turned out with a ring light on, with a ring light going. I think that'll be interesting for me to see. You'll see those circles in my eyes if I get up real close, I think you will. But anyway, it is all good. Uh, I appreciate you watching and taking the time to leave a comment. It, It's really special, it is. I'll see you in my next video. That'll be the collaboration that I do with Natalie, the beauty diva, and O'Carroll from the O'Carroll Show. And this year we're gonna do our 10 favorites from 2022 and it has been rough for me to narrow it down but I've I've got it there. I will see you in my next video and you take care. Not that anybody's been asking me lately. I think. And I've never and I enjoy and um...